Hey guys, how you doing? This is Asamo here, and I got Paul. What's up, Paul? How you doing, brother? All right, today is Monday, and uh, there's some news regarding this asteroid that's supposed to come to Earth. Uh, pretty big one, just like the ones we had last year, but this one's called DA-14, and it's coming close to the Earth, uh, I believe, in February 13. Very close. What you got, brother? Mm -hmm. Well, I just got a little article on it. We'll start it off with this article. It says, this, this, if you can go to that next clip showing the prices boom, okay. where it has the article on it. It's newly discovered asteroid will not annihilate the Earth. The panic-inducing asteroid, catchily, catchily named 2012 DA-14, will not obliterate all life on Earth when it swings very close by in 2013. But it might do the next do the next time it pops around. You know, it's just... Just a quick note, everybody, these scientists, you know, they say one thing and then they're not quite sure, but you never know, you know, this world could end any day. Nobody knows when it's going to happen. Anyway, the European Space Agency said today that although the space rock will miss our planet this time, it won't be by much, which goes how, um, to show how important it is for folks to be watching the sky. And if you look to your left right there, you know, of the, of the of the paragraphs that we're about to read, you'll see what's going on with the asteroid, a close approach to the Earth in February 15, 2013. The asteroid is due to whiz by a distance of about 24,000 kilometers, closer than many commercial satellites will be back again soon. It'll be back in soon. A preliminary or orbit, the calculation shows that 2012 DA-14 is a very earth with a period of 24 days. Just one more day than our te te terrestrial year, and it jumps inside and outside of the, the path of the Earth two times per year, said Jamie Norton, one of the discoveries of the rock. The asteroid was spotted by the Laga, Laga, La Sagra Sky Survey Obser Observatory in, spy in Spain in February. So, I mean, if you look to the left, you see where that to the where, where the, the arrow, that green arrow, and where that line is, that long line, that white line that comes down. And then you see Earth right over to the left, or where they, they, that's where they figured it could hit. But you never know; it, it could be right almost to the to less than a, a. If you look on this map, less than a, like an eighth of an inch touching the Earth. You never know; it could be way out, far out, farther than what they say, or it could be close. So this is something that, like they say, to keep your eyes on. And I think you got a clip, don't you, brother, about what the news is talking about? Yeah, yeah. This is this is on Fox. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, on one of the news uh, um, explaining about that, too. So here you go. You'll be hearing a lot about this next item over the next 11 months, but astronomers have identified a new asteroid about 150 feet across, which is headed our way and may come so close to Earth that it will pass between us and the satellites orbiting in space above us. There's some debate in the scientific community about whether a direct hit is even possible. Most steadfastly say no. This is called 2012 DA-14. They say this will be the closest past of an asteroid in the history of tracking such things. And again, while this pass is supposed to miss us, I say there's nothing wrong with making sure your affairs are in order. Up next here. One thing he said... Um that kind of makes me leery. Um, he said the experts say that whatever NASA said it won't hit us. You know, you know, all of them, brother. They they all say they're not going to hit us. And even when they said Comet Ellen, they you know they said it's not going to hit us. It's so da da da. And then they said U fifty five that was is going to come very close, but it's not going to hit us. And then there was another one that came really scraping by uh, not too long. It, it happened so fast that we couldn't figure it out, but. When they say that, you know, uh, it's coming by, you know, the first thing when I look at, brother, when, when they say is that uh, it's not going to hit us, you know, of course they're not going to say that. They're not going to say, oh, this asteroid is going to come by and it's going to hit that other parts of the uh, United States or parts of hey. the world. Um, they're not going to say that. But now they're yeah, saying that. If they did say that, it'd be such a mass panic. Right, right, exactly, exactly. But did you notice? On In the, other words, if they don't say nothing about it, and if it hits, oh, well. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So I don't know if you people heard that, but, I mean, uh, that's that's one thing that puts a big red flag on me is that uh, 
you know, uh, they said it's coming pretty close. And then when he said toward the end, it says that the experts say uh, there's nothing wrong of being prepared. Now, why would he say that if, if they're so sure that it's not going to come hit the planet, you know, that it's going to swing by and do a flyby kind of thing, you know, and, and put the ad saying that, uh, oh, by the way, you know, it's good to be prepared. So that just kind of brings a big red flag on, and I think the whole thing, brother. Oh, definitely, definitely so. I mean, you know, you you, you, don't, you can't figure it out with these signs. And it's, not, and it's, you know, they're not really to blame because they don't know either. Right, exactly, exactly. So they do, you know. That's and, right. And that's, that's why, you know, I, my thought is, is this is why we got to get closer and closer to God. Not that we're saving our tail, but knows that there's a creator out there that loves us and cares about us. Right. And he wants to be a part of our lives and he wants us to get our act together before he comes. And it's simple. All we have to do is ask him into our heart, believe that he died on the cross, ask him into our heart and, and believe that he's, he forgives our sins and ask him to come and live in our lives and be with us. You know, bottom line, that's what he wants from us. He wants us to turn to him and say, hey, you know, you screwed up, so just tell me about it and we'll, we'll, we'll work it out from there. Right. That's true. That's, that's true. Some things nitpicky and say, well, you messed it up here, man. Yeah. Why, did you do, why did you do that? He's not like that. That's right. That's right. He's just where you're at, okay? Mm. Just, just tell me the truth. That's all I ask of you. Be truthful. That's right. That's right. He's willing to touch your heart right there. Yeah. And make you and make you whole again. That's right. So anyway, brother, I think you have something else here, huh? Yeah. Uh, what was the shot? Yeah, another another uh, uh, video explained exactly uh, what this thing is, and um, I think it's kind of interesting explaining a little bit more about this uh, asteroid thing. An asteroid of the same class as one that allegedly detonated over Tungus Carrier 119. Oh wait, it will pass by Earth next year, flying closer than some man-made satellites, according to NASA. The asteroid, 2012 DA-14, will miss the planet by 26,900 kilometers on February 15th, 2013 which is closer than satellites in the geostationary orbit of 35,700 kilometers, according to data on NASA's website that was published on Sunday. The asteroid, first detected by the Spanish Observatorio Astronomico de la Sagra, is between 40 and 95 meters in diameter and belongs to a polar group of near-Earth asteroids, many of which are potential collision hazards. Astronomer groups around the world are continuing monitoring 2012 DA-14 to determine its size and trajectory. The estimated size of 2012 DA-14 places it in the same category as the celestial body that, scientists say, exploded over Western Siberia in 19. Oh, 08. Though many theories exist concerning the event on Pod Kamele at Omskoska River, the leading explanation is a space body more than 50 meters in size blew up in the atmosphere, the blast being at least 1,000 more powerful than the nuclear bomb that destroyed Hiroshima in 1945. Wow. <clears throat> wow. That, um, I like that video because it explains a little bit more and about it and, uh, for you people out there, it's a NASA asteroid 2012 DA-14 with a uh, diameter about 50 uh, meters, and it was discovered by a Spanish uh, astronomer on Thursday of uh, February the 23rd, and and the video was by uh, uh, Cosmo TV, and you can look that up. But it explains a little bit more about that. Uh, but they did say, brother that uh, if it did hit, it'd be like more than the Hiroshima you know, bombs that were set off. So, you know... It, I, it, that brings me to a point here. I know the next flick you're going to show two uh, uh, they're still photos. And could it be possibly, everybody, that a, 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 an asteroid like this could hit somewhere throughout the world, or even in our own backyard, and what kind of what kind of explosion would this look like? And what would be the aftermath of that explosion? Mm. So, brother, can you show that shot of, the, of those two shots? Yeah. One of the. 
I'm tough when you're there because I have no idea. I can't okay. tell when you're there. So if an asteroid did hit, it would look something like like this, um, as you can this see. Cloud? Yeah. Uh, this is this actually. Right here. Look, look at this cloud. It's enormous. I mean, that's just a small, you know, photo. If you're on ground zero near it, well, you'd probably be consumed by it. But just look at that. And then I think my brother will take you to the next shot. Yeah. This one's a shot. Uh, this would be the aftermax of. of this uh, here is supposedly. This is you know. This is what could happen, people. You know, it's not what's happening now. It's what could happen. And this looks looks like like Washington, the U.S. capital. This could be the aftermath in your state or your country. Or your city. You know, and then that leads us, you know, now that we've seen those shots. Uh, do you have anything to say, brother? Um, no, I just I just think this is, uh, the Bible talks about wormwood and how exactly. this would be, be, be sort of. It, you know, it's in, it's in uh, Revelations chapter 10. It says, and it's verse 8, and it says this. Then the voice that I heard from heaven spoke to me again, saying, Go take the scroll that is open in the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went to the angel and told him to give me the little scroll. And he said to me, Take it and eat it. It will be better to your stomach, but sweet as honey in your mouth. So I took the little scroll from the hand of the angel and ate it. It was sweet as honey in my mouth, but when I had eaten it, any my stomach is made bitter. Then they said to me, you must prophesy again about many peoples and nations and languages to kings. And I, I'm just wondering if the angels are standing with near this, this, this uh, asteroid. I'm wondering if the, if the, if the, if the, if the scroll is going to be poured out upon us. Mm. And I'm not just seeing the United States. I'm talking about the world. This is beyond just the, you know what? This is beyond just the United States people. This is about everybody in the world. We can't be so as arrogant to say this is just going to happen to the United States. This is for everybody concerned. I don't want to see any of this happen. And I'm not looking for the worst to happen to, to anybody throughout the world. But these things in the last day are going to take place. Wow. Wow. You know, all these things, uh, the Bible said that it's going to come to pass, and it's going to come to pass, so. If, if you just see different things, happen, like, look, look, at, look at our, uh, our food supply. How diseased with a pink slime and, and thrown in hamburgers and meat and what have you, and different pestilence that's hitting the earth nowadays. It's more, it's more than it's ever been. Mm. We've always had kind of pestilence, but not as bad as it's, it's pushing right now. People out of jobs, relationships failing, people I've married for, for 40, 50 years getting divorces. Children going out on the street, killing people, using uh, eight years old, using an Uzi gun, shooting people down, stabbing people at, 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 at school. People robbing people's places. These are things that are just picking up more and more and more. Hmm. You know... I don't know when the Lord's coming back. My brother doesn't know when the Lord's coming back, but he's coming back so soon. And he's coming back, but not to pat you on the back. He's coming back with vengeance to clean up, to clean up. He needs to clean up and take his people up, up and leave the rest behind. So if you've got money or a house or a relationship, or if it's not, if it's put back before God, uh, Number one, just check your heart today. Check your heart and see where you are with him. Are you lined up with him? 
Are you like with yourself in the world? You got to take sides. There's an old song by Bob Dylan. You got to serve somebody. You might be the devil. You might be God, but you got to serve somebody. Who you serve this day? Got anything to say, bro? Um, not much, but I mean, um, that's pretty much it. You know, um, with with all the earthquakes happening and and the stuff that's happening in Israel, you know, and uh, you know, brother, uh, <clears throat> before we w went on the air, we're talking about um, uh, somebody that mentioned about uh, what would come first, uh, Armageddon or uh, the meteor, you know, Wormwood. And I, and I looked in the scriptures that says that <clears throat> Wormwood would come first before the Armageddon. But you know what? We're so close to to both of them. I mean, we have this one, they say, that's going to be coming now. Uh, we had one last year that came by. But, you know, it's kind of weird, brother, is that uh, when when Comet Allen happened, everybody's, uh, you know, looking and, and worried about this one coming. And then they kind of like went, that's gone. And then all of a sudden there was another one that came up, you know, and now this, this other one now it's coming up in February, not too long from now. And then you have Armageddon uh, almost happening in the Middle East. You know, it seems like one after another just happening on that. And it's either that. Well, there have been a lot of earthquakes over by Iran and Turkey yeah, right now. Yeah, there's been a tons of earthquake uh, happening down there as well, brother. I mean, uh, it's it's uh it's it's crazy. It's I mean a, a lot of stuff, you know, and uh, we we just need to get ready. I mean, uh, it just it's really bad, brother. You know, um, it just seems like uh, could this uh, two th maybe the Mayan calendar is right. Maybe maybe these things are happening. I don't know. Uh, some believe that the world is. I, I know one thing. We got to start. We got to start getting back to the basics. And what I mean by getting back to the basics, you know, when Jesus left here, you know, this is not to preach. I'm just, but I'm just, it's coming to my heart and I got to say it. And I, and I do say this often because he, there's something that's like he, my banter that he's always gave me was to love the two greatest commandments, to love him with all our heart, soul, mind, and spirit and strength, and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Because when you get to heaven, you're going to have to love your, your brother and your sister like yourself. So we got to do it down here. We got to have a dress rehearsal down here. So we need to do that down here. And that's a simple thing. Just encourage somebody that's over there hurting. You know, people are going through divorces right now. I mean, they're really hurting. There's there's men and women out there that've been cheated on, or in the you know and for whatever reason, and nobody deserves that. No. Nope. Says to be cheated on or hurt that way. Nobody deserves to be hit or abused or any of those things. But this is how this is how mankind is. You know, even our, in the own ch the church, you know, the, the church as a whole, they're they're ready to, to 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 kill their own if they get half the chance. I'm not kill in the respect of, of of killing someone with a bullet or a knife. I'm talking about hurtful things they say to one another. Wounding somebody where they never want to come back to church again because of what they've been told by people that have been going to church for a long time. we got to watch our, 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 our tongue. It can make us or break us. And God's looking at our tongue when we're speaking. So that's all I have to say. Wow. Father, I just lift everybody out there to you today, and I just ask that you know, have mercy on the people that, that are that are repenting to you right now, that are asking your forgiveness for, for doing things that they've done to hurt other people and hurt themselves. Father, I just ask that you would you would help them, that you and the Lord just showing me right now. I spoke to my brother about this earlier today, but the Lord has been showing me stuff. Uh, he's been showing me, but he's showing me hands all over the world with shackles on it. They're like handcuffs and they're shackles. 
And it, maybe it's because somebody hurt them when they were younger or somebody hurt them along the way. So then they retaliated by hurting other people out there. And the Lord's son that he's ready to break these shackles. All he wants you to do is look up to him and ask him for forgiveness. Just put that tear in your eye to show him that you really mean it. Not fake tears, a real tear from your eye. And the Lord's just showing me that when you hold your hands up there, he's just breaking the shackles like that. He's showing me that he, by putting these two arms, there's invisible shackles that you have around your heart. He's breaking them off and releasing, just releasing everything. But all he wants in return is for you just to confess and say, I blew it. I blew it. But when you do that, it turns to you and breaks those shackles. He's just showing me a vision right now. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of people with those shackles on their wrists. Even in the church, there's shackles. Shackles of the heart. So, Father, I just ask that you break those shackles and have mercy on those people that are calling out you to, to you today to break those shackles off of you. In Jesus' name. Well, what you got, brother? Uh, not much. Um, I've got, um, <clears throat> just when you were talking about that earthquake stuff, but um, we had this stuff on the, um, all the stuff that's happening down there. And then that area, but uh, I can't pull it up for some reason here. Oh, there we go. And um, see, look, this is what I'm talking about, about all these earthquakes happening down here in the Middle East, you know, right there. Oh. Right over There's an there. increase, huh? Yeah, increase of earthquakes right down there in that area. And, wow. Um, you know, what's what's going on? You know, I mean, um, as you can see it there, you can see it there, right, brother? It's just right there. That's right. All these That's things right, happening. Bro. You know, it's not the United States. This is not uh, California. This is like in Turkey, uh, you know, uh, Greece, uh, all around there, you know. A whole bunch of stuff mm. happening there. Mm. So um, between the earthquakes and, and the, uh, <clears throat> you know, the... the comet thing happening there and uh, the underwater earthquakes that are happening is just in incredible you know um, what's happening well we know what's happening so <clears throat> and then we got this thing coming up pretty soon too Need yeah. to be ready. Need to be ready. Need to be ready. I, I just think we, we need to be, we need to stop. We need to let our yeses be yes and our noes be noes about everything we do in life. If you can't do something, don't say you can't do it if you can't. Just be up front and let them know. I know that's how you feel, brother. That's how we, I know we're both on the same page. When, when you tell us something, okay, I believe what you're saying. Well, I think, what I'm meaning is, is people out there, you know, you, you, you act like you're, you're a Christian on a, a Sunday morning, but in a, a Monday through a Saturday, you're a different person altogether. If, if you see, brother, you see somebody needs some help, and help them out. You'll just say, oh, we need to help them out. And the Lord, I think what the Lord is looking for is people to step out and do some action instead of just waiting for people to flap their lips. Mm. Anybody can flap their lips. Amen. That's pretty easy. But to stand up for somebody and to do something and, and have their backs, that's another thing altogether. And I think we need more of that. I think we need more of a backbone these days. Because I know a lot of us out there, including me from time to time, I haven't had that backbone. But the Lord has shown me, you know, you need to step up. This is right. We all need to step up. It's 
It's enough for me, bro. <laughs> well, you know, um, all I can say is that you need to be ready. Um, Jesus said he's coming. And uh, no man knows exactly what ours, but he did say he's coming. But he did warn us about all these things that are happening, Matthew 24, and what, what's happening. <clears throat> the wormwood is on there uh, in the scriptures as well. Um, so these things are happening, folks. Well, on that note, brother, shall we bless them? Yes, we bless them. Bless them. We bless you. We bless you. In Jesus' name.